I want to welcome everyone to a short demo on Creo Parametric. Today in this short demo, we're going to look at capturing design intent inside of Sketcher in Creo Parametric. Now, as you sketch, various assumptions are going to be made with the entities that you're sketching. And by default, this capturing of design intent is turned on. So as I sketch lines in this case, which could be rectangles, they could be arcs, it could be ellipses, etc. But as you sketch entities, you'll actually see various constraints or assumptions appear on your screen. A right click of the mouse will lock that assumption, in this case the constraint being vertical, in so no matter where you move your mouse, this line always stays vertical. Another right click will disallow that constraint, meaning it'll be anything but vertical, or right click again, you're back to where you were at. So as you sketch, you can capture intent by right clicking, and as other constraints appear, this one being a coincident constraint, right click it, and then left click to place your actual, or draw your actual line or entity. Now, if multiple assumptions appear, so for example, as I drag my line, I see two assumptions one for equal length, one for parallel. I can use tab to cycle between the two. The active one that's currently highlighted, I can then right click locking in that constraint. Now this one being equal length will allow me to move this line in any direction, any angle, but the lines always remain equal length. If you see the other constraint, tab to it, again right click and you can capture that intent by right clicking the mouse. And then continue on. So a variety of different types of assumptions will be made. Vertical, horizontal, perpendicular, parallel, um, equal length. Also, you're going to see constraints for alignment. So in this case, as I drag my mouse up, I see two alignment constraints. Again, right-clicking my mouse locks that in. Now, no matter where you drag your mouse, these two points will always stay aligned. If I drag a little farther out to the right, I'm going to see a, a second constraint for parallel lines, and again, I could lock that constraint in, capturing that intent. Now, this in Creo Parametric is known as constraining on the fly as you sketch. So these constraints are being applied as you're sketching. Again, by default, they're turned on in Creo Parametric, where some previous versions of Pro-E and Wildfire, you had the ability where you had to turn that intent on or that intent manager on. Now these constraints, again, I constrained on the fly, these can be deleted. So they're here, you can just select one, it'll delete the mating pair. You can always apply constraints after the fact from the sketch tab on the ribbon on the top in the constraint panel. So I could come in and apply my constraints. Some other tools you can still use in the inspect area to the right, I can turn on shaded closed loops. I can also turn on highlight open ends or I can look at feature requirements to see if this sketch what I'm creating meets the requirements of a closed sketch. Now back to capturing design intent. I was assuming various constraints as I'm sketching. Those are turned on again by default, but you can choose to disable those options or those assumptions on the file options tab. If I go to the sketcher category, there is an area for sketcher constraint assumptions where I can disable those. But again, they're on by default in sketcher mode and Creo Parametric. Just another way to assist you in capturing intent as you sketch in Creo Parametric. Thank you.